Afternoon, guys. Thanks for having me. How are you Good feeling? It's been a long couple of days, but uh, I'm fired up. All right. So what? So so how do you feel now? Give us the where you're at now. Yesterday we had a great conversation. Uh, you got you guys were fantastic. You and Ping announced the big data phone. We had a great chat. What's transpired in the past 24 hours? You've probably had many conversations with customers, partners, people in the trenches. Um, what's so happened with you? What, what has struck me most is this conference has been a great one for us at Cloudera. Lots of wonderful customer, partner, ecosystem conversations. But what's most striking to me is the number of times I'm hearing that from, from everybody. I mean, if you are active in the Hadoop market today, if you're doing big data stuff, if you've been at Hadoop World, you've met people who matter. You've learned some stuff, you've made some relationships. The conference has been tremendous for bringing us all into one place, allowing us to get to know one another better, and to, to look forward and find new ways to work together. So Cloud has been great, but, but I think for the entire ecosystem. We were just tremendous. talking about that, that uh, you know, you made the comment from the bloggers, this is Cloud Air show, and actually it's Hadoop World, not Cloud, uh, Cloud Era world. You know, uh, let me say clearly, we've never intended that this should be a, a Cloud Era customer conference. Yes, we stage it. There was no one doing this yep. when we started it for business users, particularly on the East Coast. It's grown into something that we think is important and good for the industry. And much the way that VMworld or, or the RSA Security Show yep. are really industry shows, we think we've got something here that is going to be important for anybody working in the big data space. We were just those started as practitioner shows, and that's the feel here. Indeed, indeed. That, yeah. Yeah. We were just talking with our bloggers too about who's doing the best marketing. As you know, we're we're focusing on who's marketing well and PRing well and executing well. And we talked about, with Kirk about that. Um, but one of the comments I made is that the wild card on all this, you can pour a pile of money, gasoline into marketing, but in open source, the community matters, being present. And, and what's interesting about this show, our observation is that this is the people building the industry. And, and so that matters. And it's because it's open source, participation matters. So you can't just throw money at marketing and not be present. No, indeed. I mean, the way that you participate here is you bring the code. Fundamentally, that's what you do. You help build the platform, you create the applications that run on top. If you're merely sitting on the side writing white papers and pontificating, you're ignored, right? You need to be involved in building the goodness that the industry needs. Bring the, your the, own code. Exactly right. BYOC, exactly bring your right. own code. So, so um, my, I know Dave's chopping ask question. What have you learned? Because um, you know you great. I mean, the show's been fantastic. But what have what did you learn from the conversations you've had? Uh, obviously, the key, after your keynote, you had a lot of conversations. What what are you taking away from the, uh, the show? Well, when we did this last year, I think we all wondered: is is Hadoop real? Is this, is this thing going to happen? I don't think that question is out there anymore. I think that the enthusiasm, the level of involvement from large established players, hardware vendors, big major software providers, absolutely demonstrates that that's the case. And so we believed that before, but boy, uh, the lesson's been driven home. In addition, I think, we were already excited about the pace of innovation, the new applications, the new approaches to data analysis, not just on Hadoop, but surrounding it, mm -hmm. uh, but the chance to sit down and talk in detail with people building this stuff, it is going to be a really exciting five years in this industry. There are some tremendous ideas that are just getting started right now that I think are going to change the way we look at medicine and at finance and at, at, at domains that matter a great deal to us as, as citizens, as humans, as well as, as business You know, people. you brought that up in the keynote and not a lot of people picked up on it, but I made a comment to Dave, like, you know, you said, oh, you know, all the right stuff and oh yeah, innovation, you know. But you said something that was really compelling, change society. And if you think about it, I mean, it's not like a kumbaya message, this is a real impact that big data is happening. And I think, you know, that's very noble of you to bring that up because and it wasn't just a sound bite that you really mean that. And can you expand a little bit more on how we're going to change society? Look, I've got shareholders and I've got payroll to make, and, and I care about turning a profit. And we work very hard to put together product that we can sell to people. But all by itself, that doesn't get you out of bed in the morning. You know, I talked a little bit about medicine. I mean, the ability now to bring enormous data sets together, genomic and molecular data, to discover how molecules might behave differently in different metabolic pathways, to, to find meaningful treatments for disease that were previously just unaddressable, yeah. I'm not going to do that. But this platform enables that kind of application, and it's really cool 
to talk to the people who are building applications like that, who are discovering where the really seriously bad guys are overseas and what they might be planning next so that we can interfere before those bad things happen. Access to information, access to data, the tools to discover those facts in all of the bits, that's pretty cool. That, that's a lot of fun. Sound bites we've had on theCUBE that have been notable this week um, or yesterday. Um, one of them uh, today actually was, you know, people are getting it. They're going, ah, oh, I finally get it. And Kirk was mentioning, you guys are talking about the data-driven enterprise. Enterprises are kind of slow, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> we, you know, we know, they adopt and then, you know, they try to understand it. How many I finally got it conversations have you had uh, this, this week? Well, going, are they still beyond that or is it? No, you know, I mean, it's, it's not a fair sample set, right? I mean, we have 1,400 people here who paid pretty serious we'll money it. to show up, not just <laughs> registering for Hadoop, but man, I made people get hotel rooms in New York City, right? <laughs> Runs into some money. The people who are here are here because they have gotten it and, and gotten it in a big way. In fact, you know, one of the stats I cited in my keyword, three quarters, in my keynote rather, three quarters of the people at this conference are already running Hadoop. Right? The rest are here, they're curious, they want to know more, but they self-selected to have gotten That's it. what I was saying, it's really a, a practitioner show at its roots, but yeah. you're not done yet. You've got another event tomorrow, a partner meeting, Indeed. I guess. And Indeed. Uh, hey, that's the other thing to me, John, the big thing that I saw is the maturity of the ecosystem. It's like a vegetable garden, you're planting the seeds and you're growing, you got to cultivate it, you got to take care of it. What are the key themes and messages you're going to discuss <clears throat> with your partners tomorrow? Well, I'm going to repeat what I talked about in the keynote that I did. This platform's adoption demands applications that are accessible to ordinary mortals, right? I mean, the ability to use Java developers well is not going to set Hadoop practitioners apart, right? Shrink-wrapped applications aimed at business users, higher level developer, and interfa developer interfaces and, and tooling, that stuff will make Hadoop consumable. Uh, we are doing all we can to promote it. In fact, you know, the conversation we had with Ping yesterday about the big data fund, about availability of resources, capital and people and relationships to drive those businesses and those ideas forward, I think that's the most important trend. That is what will define the next 12 months in this space. So they, I, I think, and I agree with that, they, they also want to hear about what your intentions are, they want you to be transparent, how you're going to make money, um, where they can play, that it's safe, um, can you address those factors? Yeah, you know, uh, I think it's clear to anybody who's known Cloudera for a while, we are deep believers in open source software. We are substantial contributors to the Apache projects that we bundle and distribute. And that's not because we're hippies or because we've got some political or religious conviction that, that, <laughs> that We are, but. <laughs> it's because open source, <laughs> open source has an unfair <laughs> advantage, right? Yeah. The platform gets better, faster, because of the 500 developers working for many organizations around the world. I can't cover all that payroll, but if we share the load across a whole bunch of companies, the platform gets better, faster, and I don't have to fund all of it. So we must contribute meaningfully, we absolutely do. We help solve the problems in the platform that our customers care the most about, but many others are doing that as well. So we're deeply committed to that open source platform. It's about, if it's about data storage, if it's about data analysis, it's, it's in the platform, right? Of course, I've got shareholders. Of course, I've got to make a payroll. So I've got to find a way to turn a profit. Running these clusters in production is hard. And some of the best web properties on the planet have spent a lot of money doing it. Uh, so Facebook and Yahoo and, and many others have large staffs of deep computer scientists. We believe that better tooling is required. We believe that's a place we set ourselves apart. We've got a great product suite aimed at precisely that problem. Cloudera is very much wants to be long term a product company, and a great one. We need wonderful product, we need, we need tremendous services, and that's what we're investing in. Uh, but we will not, we cannot lose sight of the fact that this platform was created by the community, that, that the community is the engine of innovation here, and working together with the global developer group that, that contributes to Hadoop and surrounding projects is the way to keep making it better. All right, so uh, Mike Olson, the CEO of Cloudera here at Hadoop World, um, where the industry's gathering. What's next beyond after the show? Take a deep breath. Uh, what's next and looking to next year? Obviously, massive growth. My prediction was uh, 10,000 registries, uh, ne registrations next year. Three days. Yeah, <laughs> three days, five days. Uh, you just, what's your, you're gonna have to you know, take a step back and look at this and look, you know, as I say, stand from the balcony, look down and go, wow, 
Yeah, well, you action. know, this this is a data-driven industry, right? So I really hope that everybody took my instructions to heart and has filled out their feedback forms. We used the survey results from the last conference to plan this one, and I think this is a vastly better conference as a result. So we want to crowdsource it again. We want to learn what people liked, what they didn't like. Uh, my bet, five tracks, probably too many. You, you had to not go to too many talks you cared about. Now look, they're all going to be up on the web eventually, but you wanted to get to them today so that you could have the after conversation with the speaker in the hallway and there was maybe a little too much parallelism for that. But we just had so much great content. It was packed house. Yeah. I mean, the feedback on the sessions were, I mean, the HBase session was jam-packed. I mean, intro to HBase. I know. So, some of these talks you walked into, and it smelled like a locker room. There were yeah. so many bodies. It smells there. like a developer shop, you know. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> um, so we'll need, to, we'll need to think about that. Uh, you know, candidly, yeah. we need to think about venue. Uh, yeah. We're about as big as you can get and yeah. run this in Next a hotel out. in New York right now. So. Yeah. Maybe it's a bigger venue here, maybe it's another location in another city, but uh, I, I do think you're right. I think next year's is substantially bigger than this year's, and we got to figure out how we're going to make that comfortable for a whole lot of people. Well, thanks for your support here at theCUBE. Uh, always great to have you on theCUBE. CUBE alumni, we've had you on. We've been in your office, and uh, thanks for all your support, and congratulations on all the funding, success. Uh, we, I feel proud that we're growing with you, obviously not as big in valuation, but, um, you know, but we're, we're we've grown because of you guys and Hadoop and the community. So uh, it's been Silicon a real Angle, you know, I, I love what you guys have been doing. Clearly, the, the, the access to you, to the, to the channel you represent has been great for us. And, and I'll say as well, I'm really excited about some of the educational missions you're taking on now. So great to see the vision expand yep. with the technology, with the access to a, a, a pretty big audience. That's, yep. that's really great, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, Mike. Thanks so much, guys. All right. Michael Olson.